So there's been a lot of debate about the DJI Air 3 and how good the image quality is. Well, I'm gonna show you the best settings for photography and we're gonna go through all the panoramic modes and create those beautiful interactive 360 images. And I'm gonna show you how to get them onto your website. And we're gonna to go to this beautiful location in Hertfordshire at the Elizabethan Gorhambury House, built by Nicholas Bacon in 1560 a perfect location to do our pano shots. Firstly, I'm going to go to the top right hand side, just go over to the camera mode, and I'm just making sure the format is JPEG and RAW, 16-9 ratio for the images, the aspect ratio, and the resolution is 48 megapixel. I'm just making sure I've got the best quality here. I'll go to the right hand side, where I've got my photo video button, and I'll just scroll down to the pano options. So I'll just pop up to 50 meters. Starting at the top, we've got sphere. Clicking on that, we just press the start button and we'll let the drone just go through a series of maneuvers. I'm in at a high point here, so I don't need to put the drone super high. I've just gone just over 50 meters, just so I can see more detail on the ground. And it produces a JPEG like this. And you can create this real world image and you can adjust it by changing the orientation, the tilt, the pan, the roll, and of course the field of view. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can embed an image like this on your website or social media. Just drop down to our 180, click go. And again, I'll let it do its thing. And there we go, we'll drop down to the wide angle. Click go. Now we'll go into vertical mode. To embed a 360 image on your website, you could use a platform like Memento 360 and you just create an account and you go to My Media and then you just upload your image from there. And that's it and now you've got your image there and all you need to do is drop down to the share icon here and you can embed this uh, link, share the memento, post on social media, and we can create a link. And then you can go to your website, paste the code in, and there you have it. And then on your social media, you just need to create a post. I hope you found that helpful and you learned something there and it's inspired you to go out and be creative. If you want to know more about drones, there's a playlist here. Show me the love, subscribe to the channel here and I will see you over there.